What's up guys, your boy Benny. You ever seen a viral video of a crime or some type of horrible tragedy and you close your eyes at night and you, you still see it, right? You can't get it out of your head. You're like, that. that's dark, man. That, that stuff's really evil. It's bad for the soul. That's what a lot of people thought when they saw the behavior of ABC News on Tuesday night during the mob attack on President Trump. The unethical, sickening, and grotesque journalistic malpractice, which really added up to a three-on-one assassination attempt journalistically of President Trump. Kamala didn't have to do anything. And the pre-rehearsed, pre-scripted answers for Kamala Harris made everyone really scratch their heads. The reactions, the sniping, the snipping, the fact checking. But there's this one moment I can't get out of the back of my eyelids. It's right here. You lost the 2020 election. You repeatedly uh, falsely claimed that you won, many times saying you won in a landslide. In the past couple of weeks leading up to this debate, uh, you have said, quote, you lost by a whisker, that you, quote, didn't quite make it, that you came up a little bit short. I are said you, that. Are you now acknowledging that you lost in 2020? No, I don't acknowledge that at all. But I you said did that say sarcastically. That. You but know those... that. It was said, oh, we lost by a whisker. That was said sarcastically. Look, this. So Donald Trump says, I was said that sarcastically, and he jumps into defending his campaign in 2020, defending uh, his historic margins that he got, and talking about why he had every right under the Constitution to contest an election and to talk about the way that we do elections and govern elections here in this country. So Trump says, but 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 you've heard that before from Trump on the campaign trail. Okay, that that was not shocking or groundbreaking. The president's been saying that for the better part of four years. What was shocking was when Trump said, I, I lost by a whisker. This, this is just me being sarcastic. David Muir, the news this broadcaster, I, I, I didn't said detect this. the sarcasm, lost by a whisker. We didn't quite make it. I'm to come into our country. What? I did watch all of these pieces of video. I, I, I didn't detect the sarcasm, lost by a whisker. We didn't quite make it. And we should just point out here as clarification, and you know this, you and your allies, 60 cases. This isn't about you, you jackass. This isn't about you, you propagandizing piece of garbage. This isn't about you, you absolute and total shill. I can't. So, like, this is the thing. I I cannot get this interaction out of my head. That David Muir. All the fact checks and everything, that's bad enough, okay? They didn't fact check Kamala Harris once. They fact checked Donald Trump. They have fact checked Donald Trump on like seven different things at least. Kamala Harris told 25 lies that can be recorded in this debate. But they are literally fact checking Donald Trump's sarcasm during his comments. They're saying, oh, you, I, I fact check you to not be sarcastic when you said that. They're like diving deep into his soul and saying that they are the arbiters of what Donald Trump thinks and is saying. Oh, man. You know, it makes you think. It really makes you think. And the more you watch this, the more you watch the the Kamala reactions and the Kamala answers, more importantly, to these questions and how performative and prescriptive they are. Because we all see what happens when Kamala Harris doesn't have a script and she doesn't have something to follow, like an actual script and an agenda to follow. It, it's a real head scratcher. Like it really does. It, it The. The being in the tank, it, it begins to like make even the most honest people watching this debate say, man, like this, there was, this thing seems like it was totally rigged from the inside against Donald Trump. And they may be right. Check this out. This is what's breaking across my feed right now. An ABC whistleblower is set to expose a rigged debate revealing two claims. Harris campaign revealed, received sample questions that were identical to the ones being asked in the debate. That there was a promise that Donald Trump would be fact-checked and that Kamala Harris would not face any scrutiny, as you just saw in that clip. Donald Trump would be fact-checked. Even his his emotional intentions of comments will be fact-checked. I don't think you were sarcastic enough. This this is why Kamala Harris had such swagger and confidence wobbling into that debate. The whistleblower also points to several other elements designed to give Harris a significant edge in the debate I wonder if we'll have any revelations about the use of secret communication device. Okay, so where is this coming from? The best that we could do is we could track down this this, this uh, post right here, this tweet right here. I'll be releasing an affidavit from ABC News regarding the debate. I've signed a non-disclosure agreement with an attorney and whistleblower. The affidavit states that the Harris campaign was given sample questions, which were essentially the same questions that were given in the debate. Fact-checking Donald Trump would not be fact-checked. According to the affidavit, states several other factors were built in to give Kamala an advantage. 
I will release the full affidavit. I'll be releasing it before the weekend is out. Uh, this account, obviously a Trump supporting account. Uh, black insurrection is what it's called. I have not heard of this person. I do not know who this person is. But these are the claims. These claims are being picked up pretty widely. ABC whistleblower alleges that affidavit that the Harris campaign was given sample questions. And that Trump would be fact-checked. This is Jason Miller, Trump's senior advisor, saying, uh, what the F is this? We all saw Kamala Harris perfectly recite answers during the debate. Like she knew exactly where what she was going to be asked. The head of ABC News set her up with her husband. Two of ABC anchors uh, attacked Trump all night and cut him off. Remember when Donald Trump brought up the fact that he was shot and the anchor said, we don't have time to talk about that and moved on. Remember the anchors didn't even apologize to Donald Trump that he got shot? Meaning like they didn't even say, "I'm we're glad you're okay. What does that mean? Incredible. Turns out to be true. This is a serious breach of journalistic ethics and will be the death blow to ABC News, says, well, Bill Ackman, one of the one of the richest guys on earth, billionaire. Uh, all of this leads to President Trump making the announcement that he will not be doing another debate. There will be no third debate, Kamala Harris. Uh, with Kamala Harris, campaign releases a memo touting the gains in targeted states. So President Trump has said he will not debate again Kamala Harris. When a prize fighter loses, he says, uh, I want a rematch. Polls clearly show that I won the debate against a, co a communist Kamala Harris, a Democrat radical left candidate. Tuesday night, she immediately called for a second debate. She and crooked Joe Biden have destroyed the country, millions of criminals and deranged people pouring in, unchecked. Everyone knows this. All the other uh, problems caused by Kamala and Joe, uh, she was a no-show at the Fox debate. She refused to do NBC or CBS. Kamala should focus on what she's been, done during the last uh, four-year period. There will be no third debate. There will be no third debate. There's a Trump team is sharing right now. Donald Trump just posted this saying there will be no third debate. Why debate? The numbers for Trump look good. The debate is obviously an opportunity for Kamala Harris to frame herself uh, as someone who can, well, recite pre-scripted answers, which is exactly what this sounds like. So I had a call uh, during the debate. I, I, I had, and, and these are, these are just the most recent Pew research release figures showing he's up 82% uh, to 16% uh, with evangelicals. Well, white evangelicals, that's the vast majority of the nation. Get out of the vote programs, full effect. Uh, the number is incredibly impressive uh, and is historic, actually. Trump's unique and special bond uh, to the religious communities. Um, I want to like talk to you about something really quickly. And I, I wonder if you had the same experience. I called a member of my family who's not that political, but was passively watching the debate. And they said that Kamala Harris, and I, I can't get this out of my mind, Kamala Harris behaved like an actress reciting lines that she just kind of like knew her prompts and she was like ready to recite a line that it was performative and it was like completely prescripted. It was almost like like Donald Trump was being shackled down and Kamala was given all of the room to run. Now, in spite of this, Donald Trump has been uh, on ABC News's uh, social media. Donald Trump's been absolutely uh, destroying Kamala Harris. And many people have been destroying Kamala Harris after the fact. Obviously, the fact checks that happened during the debate or didn't happen during the debate is journalistic now. It's, it's a crime. It's a crime. This was The debate was a crime scene. Uh, David Muir uh, fact-checked Donald Trump. The crime was down. This is absolutely and provably false. I encourage you to go through this Twitter thread. But uh, the reality is that the largest cities in the country have opted out of a uh, FBI uh, crime v uh, vector uh, and analysis. Uh, and as a result, at least 6,000 law enforcement agencies are not providing data meaning that 25% of the country's crime data is not captured by the FBI. This deliberately unreporting skews statistics, painting falsely the optimistic picture of public safety. Everything was a lie. Here, Seattle Times, like lying and getting fact-checked about, do uh, you remember Chaz, Chop? Very fine people hoax was peddled by Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris begging for another debate. We owe it to the voters to have another debate. This could potentially, and look at this, you you had your ABC friends attack the hell out of Trump and you still lost. This is why you want another one. This is how Kamala Harris's face on Tuesday was the stuff of legend. The stuff of legend. This is why Kamala wants, they want more, they, they needed their, I'm speaking, boom clap moment. They didn't get it. They didn't get any Kamala viral moments. Instead, what they got was Kamala Harris being able to lie with impunity 
against Donald Trump. And it's time to shut it down. This may be a negotiation tactic for Trump. I mean, we'll see what happens with the with the affidavit. This may be a negotiation tactic for Trump saying, OK, you want another debate this bad? It's going to be on Fox and it's going to be host it's going to be moderated by Jesse Waters. That, I mean, that's what they should do. That, that, that's honestly, like this is these should be the grounds now that President Trump like at like asked for. And you should have to like Republicans do MSNBC debates, right? Like this, like we, I, I went, I went to one. That this is just, this is the like Republicans do this all the time. Kamala Harris actually wants to be the leader of this country. She should be able to go on Fox News and survive. So I think that this should be a negotiation tactic. And this is what Trump should do, and he should push the outer limits uh, of this. And um, otherwise, as you can see in this. In, <laughs> In this crime scene, fool me once kind of thing. The media is so in the tank for Kamala Harris. It is grotesque. It, it is it is a sickening, sickening sideshow. And Trump shouldn't continue to allow them access to damage him and to damage uh, his massive leads. And the, a country that is uh, absolutely on his side on these issues uh, again and again and again. It's self-inflicted harm. So good on Trump. We'll see what happens. Uh, with this ABC whistleblower. This will be really, really interesting. Uh, it's your boy, Benny. Uh, like, share, and subscribe to Breaking News. See you.